So, we have here the formulas for illumination. We have our formula number one in finding the mean spherical candle power. Our formula number two is finding the intensity of illumination. And then our third formula which is finding the maximum height. So, let's focus on our formula number two and then our formula number three because in my samples, this is what I use. Okay? So, our formula number 2 talks about intensity of illumination, which is E is equals to I over D squared cosine theta, wherein D is equals to the square root of X squared plus Y squared. Therefore, if um, D is equals to square root of X squared plus Y squared, D squared is equals to X squared plus Y squared, okay? Also, we have the angle tan, uh, the angle how do we get the angle? We have to arc tan x over y. And then also our formula number 3, the maximum height is equal to square root of 2 over 2 multiplied by rs. So there will be one given in our formula number 3. Okay? So let's go ahead and practice. So we have here first for me, I mean first problem. A piece of paper lies on a table 2 meter away from a point directly below the bulb of 100 CD and is 4 meter above the table. Calculate the illumination on the center of the paper in lux. So we have our first given which is 4 meters. 4 meters above the table and 2 meters away from the point directly below the bulb of 100 CD. So therefore we have here um, a bulb. And then it says here that um, below the bulb is 4 meters. And there is also a table here below the lamp. There is a table. And there is a paper in the table. Which is 2 meters away. So, we're looking for this one. So, what will be the value of that? That is our d squared, which is equivalent to 4 squared plus 2 squared. So, therefore, d squared is equal to 20. So, our x here will be equal to 20. So, what about our theta or the angle? Our angle is equivalent to tan inverse x of over y so we have our tan inverse which is equivalent to 2 over 4 our theta is equivalent to this i mean inverse tan of 2 2 over 4 which is equivalent to 26.56. Okay. So, we have here our D, our angle. Therefore, we're ready to go. We have here I. I mean, E is equivalent to I, D squared cosine theta. What is our I? Our I is 100 CD. So therefore, we have we put here 100 all over our d squared, which is equivalent to 20, our cosine, and then our angle, which is 26.56. Therefore, our e is equivalent to 100 over 20 cosine um, 26.56. And then our answer will be 4.47 lux. Or approximately 4.5 lux. Any answer will do. Okay. So this one, 
um, a floodlight emitting 25,000 candelas in the center of its beam in at 60 degree to a point on the ground 20 meters away. The illumination on the point in Lux is. So, this will be the drawing for this one. So, there is a light. We have the angle of we have the distance of um, 20 meters also an angle of 60 degree and candelas of 25 degree, I mean 25,000 candela, and then RE is missing. So everything is given, therefore, we just have to plug our known values. Okay, so we're looking for the illumination in lux. So we have here E is equivalent to I over D squared cosine theta re which is equivalent to 25,000 I mean ri which is equivalent to 25,000 all over rd which is 20 squared cosine our angle which is 60 degree therefore we can easily solve for re which is equivalent to 25,000 all over 20 squared cosine um, 60. So we have 31.25 or approximately 31 lux. That would be our final answer. Here, we will use here the Formula number 3, which is the maximum height. A light is to be placed on a wall in order to obtain maximum brightness. So we are asked how high how high on the wall should the light bulb be placed to a point on the floor, which is 3.6 meter. Okay, so we just plug in our known values. So we have h is equal to square root of 2 over 2 multiplied by s. Our S here is equivalent to 3.6 meter. So our H max is equivalent to square root of 2 over 2 multiplied by 3.6 meter. So therefore, we have our height max which is equivalent to um, a square root of 2 over 2 multiplied by 3.6 meter so we have 2.54 as an R answer 2.54 as our answer so that would be our final answer so that's all for today's video thank you for watching